So an update on the temperature tower. Um, actually, the um, 220 turned out to be the best. Unfortunately, which is kind of hard to tell here, but unfortunately what happened was it broke across, broke off, and it wasn't able to keep the connection. I don't know if that was due to the bed or what it was due to. Um, I just changed it so that the bed is at 60 degrees Celsius and it's printing now at 220 because that's it's, it's really hard to tell on here but that's what I saw was the best um, and didn't have as much drooping and whatnot on it and so right now I'm printing off the Zelda bust and it's turning out really well actually if you can see now at the bottom here you do see we do have a few layer lines that weren't pressed down properly thankfully the insides turned out okay but it was just that that part in there I read that that has been seen on some plastic so maybe it just has to do with the Amazon basics PLA maybe it has to do with the fact that I left this little guy out last night I was mainly frustrated and that's why I left it out I haven't had much success with the Amazon basics and so I wasn't treating it as well as I should have so right now you can see it is it is printing fairly nicely. It is almost done. Um, one thing to note is this said it was going to be a six hour and eight minute print. Um, I have an hour and four minutes left. I started this at 10 and right now it is, let me just check my clock, 4.54. So it was wrong, um, which understand that that can happen. This was off by quite a bit. I've never seen it this far off. Usually it is like 20 or 30 minutes later than it should be. But this is uh, this is pretty intense, so I just wanted to point that out. However, I am I'm liking the quality of what I'm seeing right now. So I'll clean it off. I'll show everyone what it looks like afterwards. It looks like I was just missing the mark, though, with what I was printing the temperature at. And that is a huge huge deal it turns out and 10 degrees or 5 degrees celsius is a big difference it's uh, not not the same as 5 degrees fahrenheit change for any of you who primarily prefer fahrenheit i don't know why you would but um if you prefer it so here's my petgs that i have tried so far i've gotten this one to work out really well i've shown you guys that a few times this one, I still, I mean, I've gotten this amazing base. As you can tell, like, it actually has a lot of details, which this is 18-millimeter um, layer height, and this in here is 12-millimeter layer height. I think this one turned out a lot better, and I think that just has to do with it being PETG and the way it prints. I've seen the outcome of some things. Um, the hard part with this is just hard to print with. So if you can get the PETG down perfect i haven't been able to make anything larger than this right here and so i've been trying and it's just something to do with it getting higher and the failure in here because this turns out perfect until i get to this point so i'm going to start turning the temperature higher see if that works i'm going to try variable temperature because you can do that in the flash print um I'll try a few different things and I'll let you guys know. If anyone else has anything that they know about, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Please have a good discussion there. I mean, we're all just trying to learn and all this is is to showcase, first off, the voxel and what it does, but also just to help everyone kind of learn together so that, you know, we can get this down.